Hi, I'm Mike, and welcome back to Our Wyoming Life. When I woke up this morning, it was minus 25 degrees outside. I went out and I got the cows fed. The tractor tried to gel up on me and died a few times. And I managed to get all the chores done this morning that I needed to get done, but I still needed to bring you guys out for part of the day, kind of show you guys what's going on around here. So I thought what we would do today is we're gonna go take a look at some of the animals. I've got some scraps that we're gonna feed the goats and the emus and that kind of stuff, stuff from the house, kind of my daily uh, tasks, I guess, uh, especially when it's this cold because you can't really do much outside. However, I wish that I could. And uh, you may recognize this thing. This is actually the Alcoda hot pressure washer. We use this this summer. Um, I've got it here in the shop. We're gonna use it again next year. We're gonna definitely get our, our, our usage out of that thing. But the folks at Alcoda are working on making ranchers' lives and farmers and whoever's really, in fact, NFL players for all I know, uh, making their lives a little bit easier with the form of heat. And while we're gonna go check on the animals and do all that kind of fun stuff, we're also gonna take a look at this thing. And this is brand new to the ranch. Get a chance to play around with it. Alcoda's letting me borrow it. It is a diesel-fired radiant heater. This thing is a beast. And we're gonna take a look at it just a little bit later. But first, we are gonna get cold. We are gonna take a few pieces of lettuce here that came from the house and we're gonna go head out and see the emus. Days when it's super duper cold like it is today, uh, you can't really do a whole lot outside, honestly. There's just not much to be done. So I find myself in the shop or in the house preparing for what is to come. And of course, for us here on the ranch, that's calving season. We kind of talked about it in our last video, but I started looking at different ways that, that we can make calving better. And I'm gonna tell you that radiant heater, I think is gonna make a huge difference uh, during calving this year. In fact, I think it's gonna allow us to heat part of our barn. All that good stuff is coming up, but <laughs> over the next, what, few months, I guess. But I thought we would come down today, we'd see the emus. We're gonna go see some of the other animals as well and make sure everybody's doing okay in the cold weather. Emus tend to freak people out. In fact, even friends of mine have said, there's no way that I'm getting anywhere near that animal. And it's not like they're gonna poke your eyes out or anything. In fact, they are pretty friendly. This is Jenny, the big one here. Jenny, hey, hey, you want some lettuce? She's being stuck up. Leonard will eat some lettuce. Come here. There you go. Get in there. No? How about you, Leonard? You want some lettuce? Nobody wants my lettuce. How about you, Forrest? Horse is a little shy. Hey, come here. You don't want to go out there. It's cold out there. Well, I guess if these guys aren't going to eat my lettuce, I do know somebody that will, or a group of somebody's, on their last days here on the ranch, um, our piggies, pig pigs, piggies. Get in there. You guys are all stuck up. They don't want our lettuce, but I guess the pigs do. So, 
emus and the donkeys obviously doing fine throughout this cold weather. They obviously can stay in the barn and stay warm. We don't really have that option. Minus 25 degree weather will hit you pretty darn quick. So we are gonna duck back into the shop. I'm gonna show you how this Alcoda works. The Alcoda Radiant Diesel Fired and Kerosene Heater. And after we warm up a little bit, uh, we'll go see the goats. Alrighty guys, this is the Alcoda Diesel Fired Radiant Heater made right here in the United States in Wisconsin. This thing is a beast. Now, first of all, I'm gonna fire it up so you can see what it does. Then we're gonna run through it really quick and I'll show you how it works. Super easy, just turn it on and here it goes. That's not it though. Here comes the flame. Wow. This thing is super warm. In fact, you know what, how warm is it? Let's find out. Here I've got my little laser uh, thermometer. Room temperature in here is 32 degrees right now. We're gonna see what kind of heat we're getting out of this thing. If I turn it right on the grill, which obviously you'd never ever want to touch. Let's see if we can get it to work from over here. It's too dang hot, 995 degrees. Can you see that? That is hot, at least right on the front of that thing, but it doesn't, obviously I can stand this close to it. It's not catching me on fire or anything, but, my pant leg is 150 degrees right there. Just standing at this distance. So nice and toasty warm. If we move back a little bit farther, in fact, even over here on this Bobcat tire, it's still 100 degrees right back here. 107. And I'm standing a good six feet away from it, so. This thing is enough to heat up the shop pretty dang quick. And hopefully enough to heat up the barn during calving season if we have a calf that is in any trouble. Obviously, we'll be careful, trust me, but it should work pretty dang well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. This is the control panel back here. So we have a high and low setting. We have a, a light that shines or lights up when, when there's heat coming out and a reset button, um, which I still really haven't figured out what the reset button is, but we're gonna just turn it off and that turns off the heat portion. Now, the blower continues to blow in there for five minutes to cool the whole thing down so that, you know, you don't burn yourself or anything else. So we're gonna leave this alone. I'm nice and warm now, about 150 degrees. We're gonna take our bucket of goodies here and we're gonna head over to the goats where uh, baby Pepper is. And they're all actually locked inside right now because I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but it's really cold outside. That's squeaky snow, super cold. All right, I've gotten a lot of emails here lately about that building right over there, uh, wondering what's going on. And I can tell you it's not ours. Um, here last year, Aaron's mom actually ended up selling a small portion of the ranch and uh, some people bought it and now they're building, it looks like a shop, but I'm not exactly sure. I actually haven't met them yet, so. I have no idea, but she sold a few acres and they're building something or other. None of my business, so they can do what they want to do. As for us, I'm glad to say we made it to the chicken house.
Hey goats. How's it going? All of the goats stuck inside today due to the cold weather, but that doesn't mean we can't hook them up with little treats. So obviously mom gets something here first. You want some of that? What is that? Some kind of bread, naan or something. Your baby's trying to climb all over you. And these guys, oh my gosh, you guys are starving to death. Here, you could have some too. You want a piece of pizza? Mmm, yummy pizza. Probably not healthy for you at all. Here, let me just dump out a little bit of something here. Actually, who wants a... Who wants a tater tot? Waffle? Waffle? Do you want a tater tot? What are you chewing on now, buddy? There you go, have a tater tot. And how about you? Do you want a cucumber? No? You don't want any veggies? How about this thing? What is this? This is a piece of a pepper. Hey. Hey, quit trying to steal her naan. That's her naan. They like the bread. Oh, there we go. Peppers are good. Here, Mom. A few of those. You can have a couple of those. The chicken house, by the way, is heated by this heater right up here. Um, seems to do the job pretty well. It's uh, not exactly warm in here, but it's definitely not frozen. Water is still going. Of course, all the ducks and geese still look pretty dang happy too. Along with the chickens. How many eggs do you think we got? I did gather eggs this morning, but eggs are the big topic right now. So we've got one, two. Hey, what are you guys doing? Cohabitating. Three, four, five. What do you got in here? Do you have any eggs? Six, seven, eight. Do you have any eggs? Eight eggs. Nine, 10, 11, 12. A full dozen eggs ready to go. That's worth like, what? 50, 60 bucks. All right. Whew. That's enough for in here, I think. I don't have anything else, guys. That's it. You guys are lucky you're not outside. It's cold out there. Pepper? I'll see you later. Adios. For us, it's back out into the cold. It is nice to have strategic warm places to go and hide out. Oh, so cold. All right. We're gonna head back over to the shop, take another look at the uh, Alcoda Radiant Heater. Now, <laughs> made in the USA, the, the, the heater itself is made in Wisconsin. Alcoda is actually a South Dakota company, and uh, that's where they do all their distributing. They also have manufacturing facilities there for um, their pressure washers and probably some other stuff as well. Uh, great company to, to work with. In fact, uh, thank you very much guys for allowing us to borrow this heater and uh, hopefully keep some animals warm this spring. I doubt this will be the last time or the last uh, thing you hear of it. So, all right. Whew. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but uh, the tractor actually gelled up this morning. It's the first time it's done that in a long time. Not fun at all though. Gelling up actually means that the, uh, the fuel 
so cold that it starts to turn into a gel. It happens to diesel fuel, you can put an additive in, which we do, but apparently I did not put in enough. So definitely uh, uh, something that I wanna fix for next time. All right, so we're back over here. This is the Alcoda radiant heater. We've been talking about it off and on throughout the day. MP1562 oil burning direct fired industrial heater. And man, is it industrial. So the cool part is, is it's portable. It's got wheels. It's got a handle that you can flip up and move it around, which I think is gonna really help us out here uh, this winter on the ranch, because I think this thing will end up moving around quite a bit. Uh, it does take electricity to run. It does have a cord on it, so you do have to have electricity close by. The fuel tank is a 19-gallon diesel fuel tank. It's located right here. It's got a nice little fuel gauge. I'm almost uh, empty here, but uh, that is that. You have a light here to show that you've got power, and then, like I said, all your controls here on the top. So really, all you have to do is choose high or low and turn it on, and away it goes. But wait, there's more. One really cool thing about this, uh, this heater is that it actually comes or has a thermostat that's available for it. So I'm gonna hook this up really quick. It's just two wires um, that plug into the side and then you can actually control your heat. Check this out. I'm gonna turn it to 50 degrees. We're gonna go back over here. We're gonna turn it on. And there we go, it fires right up. But what we can do is actually come over here to our thermostat, and I think it's probably warm enough in here, but I'm not exactly sure. We can turn this down to 41. And then the hope is that it turns off. Just like that. I had to cheat a little bit and actually bring the thermostat a little bit closer uh, to the Alcoda. But there you go. You could put a, a wire on it, or it actually has a wire on it. You can put a longer wire on it uh, and get it farther away. You could hang it on your wall. And actually, you could use this as a heater for your garage or something like that. Not that we, well, yeah, we use it for the garage when we're packing meat orders, which I actually have to do. Oh, I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it's too dang cold today. The greatest thing about having a cold day like this, in fact, it was so cold, the kids didn't even go to school on time. There was a two hour delay while they warmed up their bus uh, to get warm enough so that it could actually take kids to school. Um, the nice thing about this is that, you know, even though it's cold out, we can still find something to do. And I'm happy to be able to share with you uh, the Alcoda radiant heater. And, and while we're at it, you know, talk about what we're gonna use it for. And I think that's where it's really gonna come in handy. Calving time in the barn, if we need heat, if we need warmth, uh, if we need it in the shop here, and we need to get raise the heat really quick. In fact, I actually turned this thing on uh, yesterday, let it run here in the shop for about an hour, and it was 81 degrees inside the shop in about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Very, very warm and it works great for that. So, very happy to have it on the ranch, very happy to have it as a part of our arsenal as we move forward, and uh, hopefully uh, we can warm up, or at least roast a marshmallow. Which I just happen to have right here. places we're hoping to be able to use this thing um, are frozen hydrants. If we have, if we happen to have a, uh, 
uh, a stock water tank that, wow, it is really hot right where I am at. <laughs> if uh, we happen to have a, uh, a stock tank that freezes over and it's metal, we could probably use this to thaw it out. I have to move. Whoop. Maybe I can do this from over here. Okay. So if we, <laughs> if we have a hydrant that freezes or a, a stock tank that freezes over or something like that, the hope is that we can actually use this to thaw it out. Uh, as long as we have power, as long as we have diesel fuel, we're ready to go. 19 gallon tank will run, will, it's about a gallon an hour, so about 19 hours uh, to be able to, uh, uh, is your run time on this thing. And I'm not sure if that's on high or on low, so, but low is plenty hot too. High is really hot. I think it's, it's on high now. It's warm. Warm enough to get a perfect roast on a marshmallow. Look at that. There we go. Perfectly roasted marshmallow. Hmm. Only a slight hint of diesel fuel. Oh. It's because I have diesel fuel on my fingers. <laughs> oh well. I found another thing to put in the brochure makes a pretty good roasted marshmallow. Thanks guys for hanging out with me. I might have to have another one of those. Those are pretty good. Uh, minus 25 degrees out, no fun at all, but still plenty to do and stuff to test and to have just a little bit of fun with. Not too much. Don't have too much fun. Alrighty guys, we'll see you later. And thanks for joining me on our Wyoming Life.